Hi guys, so I just want to show you an easy way that you can keep up on your Facebook status because I see a lot of you have um, not enough friends to really get your message out there on Facebook of what you are selling and getting people attracted to your page so that they come visit and see what you are posting. See, the way Facebook works is, you know, even if you only have 500 friends, there's no way you could ever go through the news feed and see every single one of their status updates, especially people who post multiple times a day. So they will only show you the status updates of the people who have a lot of people interacting on their status updates. So unless your friends have clicked the um, subscribe to updates button on their Facebook, um, they probably won't see you. So um, let me just show you here what I, I mean. See if I go to Jimmy's page. <clears throat> Hold on. Okay, see where it says friends? If you click get notifications, then they will give you notifications in the pop up side here and up here when he, he posts on his timeline. Um, another thing that I do is I click here. And you can create an interest list. And so I have one here that I write comment every day. So then I can go to all of your pages and look and see what you've posted so I can comment. So what you would do is click new list. And you can do this for leads too. Like people that you want to them to see that you're interacting on their page so that they will come to your page. So if you start liking and commenting on their stuff, then they'll probably come over to your page and comment on your stuff as well. So I would create this new list with Jimmy in it, and then I would just give it a name, um, leads, people that you want to follow. Make sure that you check only me because you don't want your um, competition to see who it is that you're following and commenting on. And then you just click done. And then you would just find that by coming over here on this sidebar <clears throat> and we'll see where it says interest, you click more. And then I would just look for leads. And then it will be a whole news feed. See all of Jimmy's posts pop up here now. So I could comment on his. And then you can add all your new friends to a list. You know, if you added 10 new friends this week and there are people that you want to keep up on what they're doing and you want them to, to pay attention to you, you can come in here and comment and like all of their stuff. And it's always best to leave a comment, especially because other marketers and people will see you commenting and saying cool things, and then they will send you a friend request. Um, but that wasn't really what this video was about. This video was about actually getting your posts into the news feed. And the way that you need to do that is by posting every hour on your timeline. Because no one is going to see what you're posting. If you post in every you know five or six hours, your post is, is only going to be shown to people for maybe about 15 or 20 minutes anyway. So it's gone after that. So what I use is, um, it's called BufferApp.com. So you would just type this right here into uh, your browser, and you can get a free account. You just sign up with Facebook. And you come here, and you where it says, what do you want to share? You just type in, you know, a status update. So you can add a picture. So say I would pick this picture from my files, and then I would just put, you know, whatever it is that I want to say. I can't remember what they made this out of. <laughs> it was table legs. And then what you do is if it's a you know very few words, you can also have it go out to Twitter. You can put hashtags in there.
and those hashtags will get found on Twitter as well. So then what you do is hit this little clock. And you can say, you know, today is the 26th, so it would go out today, and then I would just pick a time. Um, I can't remember when my last post was scheduled to go out right now. But say I want it to go out at 627, and I press set, and then I schedule it. And then you can continue to do that over and over, and you can schedule one every hour if you like. So here are the ones that I had scheduled for today. These have already gone out. I had one at 7, 10, 12, 1, 3. And that's because, you know, on Saturday usually I'm pretty busy and, and um, I had some time last night. So I just took some time and looked for some cool things on the Internet, um, posted a few status updates just to get people interacting on my page so that when I do post something about skinny fiber, people who have interacted on these posts, and commented on them will see in their news feed my skinny fiber ads because Facebook thinks that they want to see my stuff because they have been commenting on my other things. So that's what I do for um, scheduling and making sure that I have a lot of things you know on my page and you can have up to 10 pre-scheduled on the free version you don't need to upgrade or pay for anything. Um, if you do want to pay, I'm not sure what the price is, but then you can have a couple of different Facebook accounts. You can have your Facebook group in here so that you can schedule posts to your Facebook group and to your fan pages. But that's a monthly fee. This is just free to do this, and then when they're all done, you can start again. And sometimes I like to leave like a little bit of time in between in case I find something that I want to share during the day. And you can move these around as well if you want and just um, switch them up and put them in, in different areas. And you can also um, edit the change time. So if you want to change the time, you can do that. Or you can come over here and click edit and you can edit it if you see maybe you made a mistake or you want to add your link in. Um, however you want to do that. And, and it's just it's automatically saved. So these will go out um, when they're ready. And sometimes I just keep this buffer tab open in my browser so that um, if I am posting on my timeline, I make sure that I'm not um, manually posting something at the same time that I have something scheduled for. Um, if that happens and I find something that I want to post right away, like all of a sudden, you know, oh, I want to show my payment proof, and then I'm like, shoot, I already have something scheduled to go out at 1030. Well, then I could just come over here and change this to maybe an hour later. So. Um, posting something about every hour or two hours is good. I wouldn't really do it much more than that because otherwise um, one post will get put in the news feed and then the other one would get knocked out. So if I have this scheduled at 3 and I have this scheduled at 3.30, then um, this one's only going to be seen for a very short amount of time. And um, that's about it for uh, the Buffer app. If you guys have any more questions or if you um, have trouble doing this, let me know. But I would really like to see you all being more active on your Facebook pages because that is where you are going to get your leads and that's where you're going to get people seeing you and following you on Facebook. And switch up what you're posting. You know, if I was writing every hour, join my team today, join my team today, join my team today, come make money from home. Really, people are just going to go to the, the news feed and they're just going to be just like this. What? No, I don't want to look at this. This is boring. This is boring. This is boring. You know, they're just going to scroll this fast. They're not going to read, join my team, you know, join my company. Put some nice pictures. Put something that's going to attract people. If you notice, when you go into this news feed, all of these things have a lot of them have comments on them, and that's how they get in the news feed. Except for like Pete, because I'm following him. But you know, look for some you know pretty pictures, quotes. Um, you can go on the internet and look up quotes. Um, here I'll show you. Let me see. <clears throat> Just go to Google and. and um, Type in
look, they give you images. You can go to some of these, you know, websites, grab some cool quotes um, to post on your wall. I mean, not some of these super, you know, long ones, but you can get some, you know, good ideas, stuff that, that people, you know, want to see and they find interesting or uplifting. Not always about your business. So those are just a few tips for you guys today. I'm going to cut this off because I only have a 15 minute record time and I hope this was helpful and good luck you guys. Keep up all the good work and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.